good. They never treat a woman like, like they should. I've known them from Bombay to Senegal, but there's one in particular that I recall. Once I loved such a shattering physician, quite the best looking doctor in the state. He looked after my physical condition and his bedside manner was great. He said my bronchial tubes were entrancing, my epiglottis filled him with glee. He simply loved my larynx and went wild uh, uh, harynx, but he never said he loved me. He said my epidermis was darling and found my blood as blue as could be. He went through wild ecstatics when I showed him my lymphatics, but he never said he loved me. And though no doubt it was not very smart of me, I kept on racking my soul to figure out why he loved every part of me. And yet not me as a whole. With my esophagus he was ravished, enthusiastic to a degree. He said it was just enormous my appendix vermiformis, but he never said he loved me. My vertebrae was sejourner. He called my coccyx pluca gentil. He murmured multabella when I sat on his patella, but he never said he loved me. He took a fleeting look at my thorax and started singing slightly off key. He cried, May heaven strike us when I played my umbilicus, but he never said he loved me. He seemed amused when he first made a test of me. To further his medical art. Yes. Yet he refused when he'd fixed up the rest of me to cure that ache in my heart. And so he lingered on until morning. Yet when I tried to pay him his fee, yes. he said, Why, don't be funny. It is I who owe you money. But he never said. He said he really thought a lot of my medulla oblongata and my pancreas and sternum made him sing a wild cantata when I shook my pelvic girdle. Well, he did a double hurdle. Your appendix. Just tremendous. Cerebell. Simply swell him. But he never said. He loved my sinuses and spleen and every organ in between. And yet he never said.